Both of us were players here in 1978. We had a radio show called the Pete and Wheat Show. I'm Obviously, Wheat. I'm Pete. I got the top billing because I'm the smart one. Wheat is the dumb one. Okay. We've been told or asked to talk about some of the players that we knew, and the first one we're going to start on the list was a pitcher for the 1978 uh, Lynchburg Mets, a guy named Paul Cacciatore from Waltham, Massachusetts. Waltham, uh, come on, say it right. Waltham, Massachusetts. I roomed with him for a couple years. Um, I lived next door to him here. He was a right-handed pitcher, starting pitcher. We, do you have anything to say about yeah, him? Yeah, I think uh, Billy Joel wrote a song about him, Mr. Cacciatore. So he's in the deal. And his wife's still in that, in that video, too. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, Paul had a good year here. He was a fastball pitcher. He threw very hard. Um, decent curve. Didn't really have much of a change up. He went on to play double A with two or three organizations. Outstanding pitcher, outstanding guy. He hurt his shoulder. Got some bad breaks. He probably should have made the big leagues. Um, Which was two levels ahead of where Pete and I went. Yeah. Pete made a living in what is it, Alexandria. I did yeah. play some double A ball. Yeah. I never got there. Now we played about. He played about a year and a half. He wasn't. You know, he wasn't. Give or take a couple of years. He wasn't that year good. He wasn't that good. Okay. Good change up. To, good change up. Greg Charleston. Charleston was uh, he was a middle infielder, kind of a utility man for the 1978 Lynchburg Mets. Uh, by the way, we did win the championship that year, and I know they had some good teams down here, but in my opinion, the 1978 team was the best of all of them. I had five wins. Did you? Yeah, I did. I think I, already knew. I think I saved all of them. Greg Charleston was a good, good player, good middle infielder. He played all positions. Um, all right, get on to the next one. Wait a minute now. He could have hit a little better, don't you no, think? He, no, he could have hit a lick. Yeah, I didn't think so. A good guy, though. I wish I could play golf. I, we watched him play golf yesterday. He was good. He didn't show up. I wish I could have pitched against Charleston. He said Charleston. it was raining. Hey, he couldn't do it. We both could have made the big oh, leagues if we could have pitched against I'd Charleston. I'd have been an all-star. I'd have been an all-star. Some <laughs> hit a lick. Ooh, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, go ahead. you, you guys edit one. this, right? Go ahead, get the next one. You can't let's say go, that. Let's go. Uh, next is, one, Stan. This is live radio. Oh, it's TV. Stan Huff, catcher, played here in 77. Couldn't catch a lick. Couldn't no, catch a no, no. Stan, Stan was a good oh, catcher. Oh, he couldn't hit. That's yeah, good. not a, not couldn't hit very well. A good guy, great guy. He went on to manage, uh, yeah, to Texas, manage yeah, Texas, Texas League. Yeah. He played about, played 25 oh, years. You can't say that. Can't cuss. Okay, I'm sorry. It's twice he's. It, I'm sorry, guys. Um, Look, Stan Huff, good guy. Stan Huff from right Waco, there. Texas. Manager. He's uh, he's been accused of being a redneck, and I know him personally. And he got a little. Stand you up. can't say that, Pete. I keep telling you. Great guy to have on your team, Straighten though. Straighten this up. Here okay. you go. Another changeup. <laughs> Come on. Get the All next right. one. Let's see. Uh, we got Dave Mex Lozano. Now, well, you, you can't, can't say, say Mex because that that's racist. And here's the thing. We, Dave Lozano. Can he say that? In 1978, his, we called him Mex. Dave Lozano. Of course, now I sent him emails, uh, met him on the on the web, sent him emails, and of course now they say it's a racist thing. But you can't say Just that. Pete. Just Pete. He's the only racist we got in the whole organization. Oh, not racist. He is. Anyway, Dave is a heck of a guy to have on your team, and he played here in '78. He stole 37 bases in like 85 Never games. Never gave him back either. H Park, we went to. He stole the base. And they took him Never up to Double A before. They took him up to Double A before. He still we, got we him home in California. Trust me, he does. Every base he stole. There's people looking for him right now with stolen bases. <laughs> Good guy to have on your team. Super Max is what we called him. He did. I did. I called him David Lozano. Okay. Um, Come on, Stan. Stan. He knows what I'm talking about. Next one, Freddie Martinez, Dave Lozano's best friend, wasn't it? Yep. Freddie was a right-handed pitcher here. He pitched a little bit in the big leagues. Uh, had a good fastball, a good slider. Was a uh, pretty polished pitcher. He was picked up in the Rule Five draft from the by the. You California, are a, California Angels. You are a stat guy. You would know that. I just remember when no, we No, I talked to him at breakfast. He told oh, me. Oh, there you go. Yeah. When we flew into Lynchburg the first time, he had white knuckles because we'd come out of these hills, and it was all cloudy. And uh, actually, he actually gave me his headphones so I could listen to Steely Dan and AJ as we landed. And he was going... Freddie? Yeah. Good guy. Well, you know, they, they don't Another fly much. Up. They don't fly much. See where you're sitting here every time? Right in the hands. 
Right. Only time I've ever done that in my life. Freddie actually pitched on Monday Night Baseball back when Monday he Night did. Baseball was big. He pitched against the New York Yankees. All right, next so. guy, let's go. You're killing me. Kim Seaman. Now, Kim Seaman's a we buddy of yours. We can't talk about Kim because he wasn't good enough to play at Lynchburg. Yeah, he, he didn't. He, 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 I don't he think was, he ever made it here, nah, but he's here at the reunion. He's so. here. We brought him along. He wasn't good enough to play here. We, no. Did no. you trade him? Yeah, you traded him to St. Louis Cardinals because he was just that bad. We had to get rid of him. <laughs> You ain't heard nothing yet, girlfriend. It gets better. Kim. <laughs> he was horrible. That's okay. He's my roommate. Come on. Actually, Kim did play a little bit in the big leagues. So he, he, was, he, he was pretty good. Longer than any one of us. Of course, he, he was, was left-handed. Left-handed, you get a break by the six years. Well, you know, the Cardinals were right below the Mets. <clears throat> so, that's Peter. why Kim went to the Cardinals. Don Troyan, Don Troyan, were you here when he? I, no, oh, I didn't wait, know Don. They'd already moved you down. Yeah, I'd already got shipped. <laughs> I, I was gone. here. Not the Cardinals, though. I was a level above the Cardinals at Wausau. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but they moved you down. We roomed together in '78. They moved him down, so then I had a place by myself for the rest of the summer. And the phone bill. Yeah, he, he owes me the phone bill. bill. He's never paid it. Three hundred dollars. Right. So. Here's another changeup. <laughs> Don Troyan, he came in the June draft with uh, it's over his here. right hand, or uh, sorry, a big, tall, left handed first baseman, power hitting first baseman, but. I didn't know him. He didn't hit many. Gary Corrado was here, and Gary kept saying, Don's going to Don's gonna hit one in that graveyard Is he on one day. Gary Corrado? No. This guy had a curveball that hit the middle of the backstop. Don never hit one in the Once graveyard. Once again, he'd throw one up into the backstop. Go ahead. Um. I think that's the only guys I know on the list here. I mean, I know some. I don't know them as ball players. Let me see. Uh, Chame. Did you know him? Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Yeah, I remember him. Uh, he he was having a bad week, and and he just he went into the locker room and just obliterated the toilet with a bat. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, he could hit a ball, but he hit the toilet in the pieces. Not this big. Chame had a Chame was a. James a quiet guy, but nice bad, guy. bad temper. Yeah, he, he was Oh, nice. he had a bad temper. He was yes. until he got to the toilet. It was all over. Yeah. So. Who you got there, Jimmy Lauer? You, you see on there? Jimmy Lauer, left-handed batter. Um, he played in 79 here. I didn't know him that well. well. I He's, got him in spring training. Winter ball. Well, you didn't go. You were a prospect, so you didn't get to go to winter ball. No. Only the prospects got. But there. you only went one year. You were That's the, all you, I needed. You, was one more than you did. You were released the next Remember? year. Remember? I played seven need, years. You, you played went, two. You went to Alexandria and played. I played in Jackson. Double I elementary play. school ball with a. The uh, I remember because you had to change in the, in the uh, bathroom stall. I remember. Who's next? I think that's all we know. You know anybody else? Yeah. See, see where that hit you? Um, it's right here. Weed. I think okay. the girl doesn't like you. That's Look okay. at her. Huh? She's a Cardinal fan. She'll get over. It. Yeah. Terry Sin. You remember Terry Sin? He's not here. He, yeah, he was here uh, as a player's coach in seventy. Oh, he's not here this, now. He's not here now. That. Well, Terry Sin, you know, I mean, he was going to be here. I guess he had a little, uh, his daughter had a little illness or something. But they're over in Fairfax, Virginia. It's close to you. Where oh, you really? were at. Yeah. And then uh, Keith Shermeyer. I didn't know him. Yeah, Keith, No, I knew him. You did. didn't yeah. play here when we were here. Keith, Keith, Keith played with me in two years, longer than I played with you. Because, I mean, just we only got a couple of months together. We're roommates. Is T.C. Cochran still around? T.C. Cochran. Do you know him? You remember T.C. Cochran? Frank Cap. Frank Capiello Frank, is he? Frank, Frank Capra. Frank Capiello was the he GM. Did the, he did the radio show. So. And drove the bus and directed our Pete Weed show back in the day. Back in the day we did the Pete Weed show, we talked about everybody. And it wasn't good. But back by You want to talk about the peninsula? Oh, no, we probably had not to go there. You we got trouble in the peninsula. He did. Jack Aker kind of had to come calm him down. But it was a good thing. You used to like to go to that Quiet. Holiday Inn, didn't you? say that no more. It's all good. But this was a good place. We used to go to the Holiday Inn bar, oh. and they'd bring a fly rod with them. Oh, and cut right he, there. Stop. He, then we're done. He'd work we're that back done bar. now. He'd we're work it. You know, Pete's wife, Martha, I, she's a lovely lady. And how in the world did he end up with her? I got no idea. Because if I tell the Peninsula story, you're a deep crap. Change up. See where that hits you? Try it again. We won't tell it then. All right. You want to cut this thing? Better. We're done. You want to cut it? We're done.